everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today, this is going to be the last time I do a Call of Duty Vanguard video. Uh, I did a few of these a few weeks back. Basically, we control all three points, and the enemy team 
sucks. Terrible timing, but just threw a grenade at my feet there for some reason. Just throwing grenades all over the place now. They're coming in, jumping at us. Got that there. Got the kill there. That was a nice elimination as he was sliding into the box into the back, but. Yeah, Call of Duty, definitely not uh, what it used to be, that's for sure. You know, I didn't, didn't feel like how it felt, you know, back. Maybe I'm just getting old, I don't know, but that's why I, I know that they were showing the trailer off for Modern Warfare 2, but I honestly have a hard time even getting excited for the Modern Warfare 2 just because I feel like it's not going to be the same as it was, you know, it's, you, you can remake the game, but you can't remake the, the era, the culture, the, the community, all that stuff from the Modern Warfare 2 era, you know, that's just, it's hard to replicate that sort of stuff. So I just, I, I, I can't get excited for the new Modern Warfare 2. Just because in a sense, I don't know, it just kind of feels like a cash grab to me. And it's, yeah, well, I'm, I'm definitely not, as you noticed, that uh, Modern Warfare 2 is not in my uh, games I'm looking forward to video that uh, I had out just the other day. I considered, you know, I kind of toyed with the idea of whether or not I was going to put it in there, but ultimately I came to the conclusion that I'm not really excited for the game, so I shouldn't put it in the video. Let's see, 35 eliminations for me right there. But what's funny is like I have 35 eliminations and that's the second worst on the team. Like these blitz modes, the, the pace, and like the amount of kills you get and the time to kill is just, it's just stupid. It's silly. Uh, there's like no sort of tact, any sort of tactics. But there we go, 200 to 54 is the final score. Blue team, my team winning. Play of the game, let's see it. Regal Ryan. Um, alright, so that was the play of the game, I guess. Uh, there we go. Alright, Team MVP, got a drink here. Did I get the most captures? I did get the most captures. losing to the most defenses that's defending the points we do have is just as important as capturing new points that we do not have shipment that's the name of the map a shipment not shipyard but here we have some kill confirmed on shipment all right and we're going with the stg 44 here for shipment and I start off the game with a headshot kill. Not bad. Kill Confirmed is a pretty fun game mode. I've always enjoyed Kill Confirmed because it adds that extra element to um, the gameplay. You know, it's you're not just you're not just getting the kills. It's you have to also go pick up the dog tags. So you can't camp as easily. You, it kind of forces you to move and um, you know move across the battlefield and got that one there. Move across the battlefield, to get into more open positions. Um, you know, we have to go grab the dog tags and stuff. Double kill there, solid and I. Uh, guy up there I was just trying to I was trying to get up here but I was just jumping nothing for a while but finally I get up there and confirm the kill shot that guy in the feet a few times it's funny I was just talking about 
across the battlefield, but there I was just sitting up on that spot for a minute, trying to do exactly that. Got uh, 10 eliminations, leading the team right now in eliminations. Pretty solid, and I just keep getting those rank ups. Buzz kill there. That person tried sliding into me, and I just took them out. Confirming all sorts of kills right now. Got that elimination, at least that was the King Slayer. And then the teammate confirmed the kill, so that's solid. There's a lot of people running the riot shields on their back, I've noticed. It's kind of weird to me. I guess it's so you can't shoot them in the back. Maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. If that's like a passive uh, shield on the then I guess that's kind of worth it, but I don't know, I feel like most of the time I'm getting killed from the front, somebody who is in front of me that shoots me, that's, I feel like it wouldn't come in handy that much. Got the Kingslayer there, 44 to 28, and I'm still leading the team in elimination, so pretty solid. was a bad one. I should have had that. Not really sure what happened there, but I should have had that one. Got that guy in the back. I don't even go deny that kill. I should have done that. I didn't deny or confirm right there. So I got two confirmations, so it's alright. Oh, Jeez, let's get down with the pistol. That was not a smart move. Don't know really what I was thinking there. down right there, take them out, still 21 eliminations, leading the team, I don't think I ended the game with the most eliminations though, but it is what it is, oh, they go down, that was absurd, I should have gotten that one, I had the highest score, but not the most eliminations, we win 60 to 41 at the end of this match, play of the game, let's see it, it's better than the last game. The last game's play of the game is a joke. This is a very interesting looking weapon they have there. Alright, team MVP. Oh, I think that's me. Most kills denied. Denied six of them. Most kills confirmed. Sleepy does it. And then most eliminations there. And I didn't vote for myself here because I felt like the uh, confirmed kills is kind of the most important stat for this game. Obviously, it's kill confirmed, so team MVP goes, in my opinion, to the rightful person who deserved it. But here is our final match of the video, DOS House. DOS House. sure what happened there. I don't, I don't know why I didn't kill that guy. Because I felt like I was shooting him way more than he was shooting me. But whatever. Put in this door. But yeah, see that guy's just laying there, but for some reason I like can't hit him. Kind of annoying. Finally got him. And we get onto the point and we start racking up This, um, of all the different game modes I played uh, in my time playing Vanguard, I think this mode with the roaming uh, capture point was my favorite game mode. There was just something about this mode that was really fun and dynamic. It forced you to move around the map, um, do different things. I really enjoyed, um, I did really enjoy this one. I think it's called, I think this is called Patrol, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's called Patrol. Yeah, it's like right there. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. Because I feel like those should just all be headshots when they're going prone like that. But it's like they find this like perfect little spot where they can kind of conceal their body in 
still be able to shoot. I don't know. It's weird. But I mean, 47 to 9, 10 right now. Like, it's not going good for them. Um, and that is one thing with these modes. Like, I just love any sort of capture point mode, like domination. Any sort of objective mode is far more fun for me than team deathmatch, those sort of things, like, if it's just going in and getting kills, I know some people prefer that, some people really like it, uh, the team deathmatch will always probably be your most popular game mode and things like this, but me personally, I like the objectives, I like having something to do, because, you know, you watch me play, and I basically just Zerg rush towards whatever the objective is, you know, and with that, no reckless abandon, no regard for my own safety or anything, like, I'm, I'm not really concerned with just getting as many kills as possible, that doesn't really excite me at all, like, those guys who are just laying there in the corner shooting, trying to get as many kills as possible, like, to me, that doesn't really take any skill and doesn't really give me any joy. Uh, I wouldn't, that's not what I would be about. Double kill there, that's solid. Then I run out of ammo before I get the triple, which is annoying. Oh, they end up giving me the triple anyway, though, so that's cool. I wish that, uh, I don't think I was recording, but there was a time that I was just running a pump shotgun on this map, Doss House, and it was so effective. It was, it was insane how effective it was. Like, you could just run around pump shotgunning people, and you would just dominate, like, so many kills. So, just the amount of destruction. Yeah, the pump shotty. Uh, that was definitely a fun time, running pump shotgun SMG uh, with overkill perk. So you can carry two primaries. Yeah, that, that there just not a good, uh, not a good angle to try and get in. When it starts roving that way, that's when it gets a little bit trickier. Got that guy down, but then I got shot in the back by somebody that I wasn't aware of. Yeah, it's just. This game definitely had issues, especially on these smaller maps. I didn't like how, like, the speed at which you get into the action and how fast you die. It, it does get kind of annoying. Like, I would much prefer a uh, time to kill that's, like, way higher. But, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Sasquatch Wall 420 guy, I think that he's like leading their team in kills because he's just camping those spots most of the game. Got that guy there, headshot. Yeah, I don't know, I didn't kill that guy. Like, I was shooting him for so long. Like, just kept shooting him, shooting him, shooting him, and he didn't die. But he just turned on me and like killed me in an instant, kind of. Kind of annoying. Dude, I think somebody just moved into the neighborhood with dogs. Like, we have never had dogs barking the entire time I've been living here. But then just in, like, the last week or two, now I have dogs barking at, like, just random hours of the day. And I haven't noticed any U-Haul trucks or anything, but it's just very, very annoying. Very annoying. Okay. And no one just throwing grenades onto their camping spot because I'm like just getting tired of it. Like you have half the team just laying prone and shooting. It's like you're not even playing the game at that point. Like just play the game properly, please. Got a double kill there on them though. That feels good. They've been a 
annoying me this whole time. I think at this point, like, I was literally screaming and punching my desk uh, when I kept getting killed from those people camping. Like, I'm pretty sure it's, I was, I almost broke my desk a couple times, which is why I cannot do ASMR live streams of games like this, because I will uh, not be relaxing. It has to be pre-recorded when it comes to things like this for it to be relaxing at all. Alright, and we're inching ever closer to victory. 156. One, yeah, 156 to 110 right now. And there's just people and bullets everywhere. Nothing makes sense. There's no rhyme or reason to anything that's happening in the game. It's just a cacophony. It's just noise and pain. But there we go. 175 to 111 victory. Like I said, this is the final match of this video. Let's see this play of the game. Let's see what it's all about. Unknown. Got one kill. Yeah, that's literally just somebody camping a corner. That's not very exciting stuff. Oh, team MVP. This team MVP made me so mad. So I could most time an objective. I was on the objective for two minutes. Highest KD ratio. Okay, that's fine. Look who wins. The winning MVP goes to the honorable mention. Why would you even vote for somebody who's an honorable mention? So annoying, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And until next time, guys. Bye-bye.